Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another Green Light Collectibles diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the complete Dewey Driver Series 7 release. I picked this up from my friends over at Diecast Model Wholesale. Link will be in the video description below if you'd like to add any of these trucks to your collection or order the complete set. Link will be in the video description below. Alright, as you can see the packaging just features your green light logo on the top left there. Series 7 up in the top right, Dewey Drivers right in the middle. And you got your trucks centered nicely in the bubble below. The packaging is all the same. On the back of it, it just features what trucks are in release 7. And of course, here are all green light collectible social media. So we'll go ahead and start off right here with the uh, 1970 Chevrolet C30 Dually Wrecker and Texaco 24-hour road service livery. Go ahead and pop it open, take a closer look at this one. This one is a new casting from green light try to get it out of the packaging all right I'm pan the camera down here and here it is it's a really nice uh, little tow truck and Texaco livery as I mentioned got the push bar on the front that looks really nice got painted details there for your headlights all the little fastener details on the front uh, push bar here look great. Got the Chevy logo right there on the front of the hood. Now none of these I think have opening uh, hoods or anything. Got really nice painted details around your uh, windshield wipers and window trim. Got the matching orange wheels as well. Texaco on the door. Got the fuel cap there right behind the door handle and keyhole here is C30 and everything so it looks really good black interior bench seat got 24 hours on the side of the tow bed road service now the cool thing is definitely the tow bed and towing device but none of it is actually functional it is all a stand you know as a static little piece Got nice details on the lights there. It's painted in silver with this day glow orange boom and everything. But like I said, none of it, it's all plastic. So none of it is functional, unfortunate. Here's the back of the truck. It got really nice painted details for your taillights and some really cool uh, Texaco uh, deco on the uh, rear uh, mud flaps. Under the side of the truck, here is your dually dry, uh, wheels. Number 5,726. So yeah, it's a really nice little truck. Got a little, got to fix that rear tire there, but that is the uh, Texaco C30. We'll take a look now at the 2019 Ford F350 Dually in ruby, red, and stone gray right here. Once again, phenomenal looking color choice for this truck. Here it is, looking great. Got inserted details for your headlights on this one. Ford on the center of the grill. Got the uh, mirror caps in ruby red as well. Black windshield wipers and trim on the windshields on this one. F-350 right there on the front fender. Really nice detailing on the hood. Running boards look great with the uh, textured tops on it. Black painted details for your uh, door handles and everything the lights on the roof look great got the die uh, casted in fuel door painted details for your back tail lights Ford emblem on the tailgate looks great got the trailer hitch bed cut bed lining and everything looks great in matching ruby red color we got silver uh, details there for your side mirrors Third brake light looks great on the cab of the truck. Not much to say on this one except for it is a fantastic little replica. There's some more uh, detail down there. Bottom of the truck. Here you go. Metal chassis. So this one's got some weight to it. This is serial number. I don't know. Can't see it. But yeah, it's a really 
fantastic little Ford F-350 if you're a collector of Fords. All right, up next, we will take a look at the Waste Management 2018 Ram 3500 Dually Steak Truck. As I mentioned, Waste Management Livery. So let's go pop it over, take a close look at this one as well. Here you go. Really like this one. We've got the details on the roof for your headlights. Got RAM on the center of the grill. Inserted details for your headlights. Chrome details for your mirror caps. They are, of course, silver detailed as well. Got the RAM logo there on the door. Waste management. Cummins on the fender. Silver painted details for your door handles. The running board looks great on this one as well. The toolbox on the side looks nice. We do have the green waste management uh, stake bed here in great detail as well. Back of the truck. Kind of lackluster, no painted details for your taillights or anything, but we do have the waste management logos on the mud flaps. This truck does feel quite light because of the stake bed. Of course, here is the bottom of it. It is a plastic chassis on this one. Overall, this one here is really light compared to the Ford that I just we just looked at. But it's still a solid little truck. Up next, we have the 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 Dually Service Bed for the Illinois Tollway. All right. Here we go. This is a busy looking uh, truck. Got the uh, Illinois Tollway logo on the hood. Got that center little like intake on the hood there. Detail on the roof. Got 34 on the fender. Inserted details for your headlights. Chevy bow tie on the center of the grill. Help on the door. Illinois Tollway dial nine, star 999. Silver insert. Or painted details for your side mirrors running board once again detailed nicely all the door latches and everything on the service bed looks nice as well as the chevron cut kind of theme of the deco back here on the back we have painted details for your tail lights tow hitch or trailer hitch illinois tollway number 34 once again help on the inside there says same as the other side no major differences bottom of the truck once again is plastic so there's the bottom I think so far out of all of them the Ford in ruby red is the only one with a metal chassis so there's that one up next we got the 2015 Ram 3500 Dually crane truck port of Miami tunnel so once again another busy looking uh, truck Here we go. Got the Miami Tunnel logo on the hood. Ram on the center of the grill. Insert details for your headlights. The details are the same. Got Cummins. All the Ram logos on the door. Black painted details for your door handles. Got Transfield Service on the door. Miami Tunnel on the service bed. Painted details for your door latches and everything. We do have non-insulating on the crane. Now this is not, once again, functional. Just like the tow trucks, it is static, so don't try to mess around with it. You'll break it. Painted details for the lights on the back. Right side of the truck is the same. No major differences or quality control. And once again, plastic chassis. And no serial number. Wait, yeah, there is. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. It's 5,401. Up next, to finish off Series 7, we have the 1968 Chevrolet C30 Dually Wrecker in white. Perfect, in my opinion, for customizers. Alright, here it is in white. Once again, it's basically the same as the Texaco one, just a different year. Got Chevrolet there on the hood in silver. Painted details for your headlights. The push bar on the front is exactly the same. 
Got the silver trim around the windshield. Got Chevrolet and 30 there on the fender. Painted details for your door handle, keyhole, and fuel cap. Black interior. Once again, the actual part where the wrecker boom is is the same as the Texaco one, not functioning. Got painted details back here for your taillights. Nothing on the mud flaps. Right side of the truck's the same. And of course, here is the chassis. This is Wow, that's a big number, 12,420. So yeah, that is Series 7 of Dually Drivers from Greenlight Collectibles. Now, if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrange69. Once again, links will be in the video description below if you'd like to add this to your collection. Hopefully you enjoyed this green light review. See you next time for an all new diecast review. Bye.